Hey guys, it's Em here from Bliss Out Holistic Wellness. Uh, welcome back. I'm here to talk about a topic that is something that's been on my heart for many, many months. Um, and it's been a journey and I knew when I got through it, but also as I was going through it, I would want to share. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, I created Bliss Out as I was healing from a vestibular condition, vestibular neuritis and vestibular migraines in my case. Um, really to shine a light on the mind and body experience and what it felt like in the darkness. That's why I wrote my book. It was like therapy to write it. That's why I share everything over on my website and now help other vestibular warriors because it's just, it's a light in my life and also it's inspiring for me and it helps me keep healing on my journey. So I'm almost four years later. Um, I'm in a grounded state. I rarely experience symptoms anymore. And over the last eight months, I've been weaning, nine months actually, I've been weaning off my migraine medicine. So this was something I started last October um, and it's July now. So I started it because I had had a year and a half with like super minimal symptoms. Um, I had started the medicine um, when I was at 90%, but then I would get attacks out of the blue. And so I started it to break that cycle. And I talk more about that in my book and over on Bliss Out on the blog. If you want to know why I got on it, um, just go to my frequently asked questions. But coming off of it, I knew it wasn't something I wanted to be on forever. I wanted to like break the cycle, have the medicine do what it was meant to do. But ultimately, I want to heal from the inside out, wanted to heal from the inside out. And medicine was just one component in my toolkit. So I went a year and a half um, with very minimal symptoms. I think maybe two, maybe three at most, like full vestibular migraine attacks, which I came through within hours. You know, it wasn't like days or even weeks. You know, there was a time when my symptoms were 24 seven. So once I had this year and a half of like bliss, as I say, I was like, okay, I know I'm ready to start this process of weaning off the medication. So that's what I did. And I have taken it slow like really slow, <laughs> nine months slow. Um, and uh, when I went to my doctor, um, just to like get his idea, you know, how it should go, he basically told me I could just come off of it. And not surprising that I wasn't given great feedback. I knew that was a terrible idea. You know, it had taken time to build up to the dosage I was want on. It had taken like four months. There was no way I was just going to come off of it. Um, and in my case, I was taking amitriptyline um, as a migraine preventative medicine. So this is not a video of me telling you how to do it, um, what you should do, always con consult with a doctor. This is me just sharing an experience because if you are someone that is on migraine medicine, maybe you want to look at somebody else's experience because maybe you don't want to be on it forever. I know for me, I didn't want to be on it forever. If it needed to be a tool to, you know, on my recovery journey, that was fine, but I worried about the long-term effects. So at this point, I am almost off of it. Like I could stop it today. Um, I'm on like the last dose. I just am kind of like finishing out the bottle and I guess it's more like a security thing at this point, which it's really not. The dose is just so low. But I'm gonna tell my honest account of how it went, um, weaning off of it and ask questions. But of course, if you have like medicine specific questions, um, I'm not the person to reach out on that. But if you're looking for holistic support, I'm the person to reach out for that because I would like love to support you. All right, let's dive into it. Okay, so as I mentioned, when I started the medicine, I was at like 90%. I'd have really, it was like 18 to 21 months in. Um, I'd have really, really good days, really good stretches. And then out of the blue, I'd be driving or I'd be sitting at work or something anywhere, you know, attacks can happen anywhere, mid conversation and the anxiety would hit. And I knew what could potentially happen afterwards. And then I would start to like leave my body, the derealization setting in. And then, you know, the anxiety gets higher and it becomes a storm. And then sometimes I would feel like I would start to go sideways and my eyes would stop wanting to focus. And then there were times, a few times that I got actually physically sick, other times where my world just went sideways. Um, and those, gosh, attacks are so hard, but I think sometimes they're even harder when you've had really, really good periods. Um, and it got to a point at that like 18 month mark, I made the decision. Um, okay, I was willing to try a medicine to see if we could break the cycle. And that's what I did. And for me, I think it was super effective because of everything else I was doing. Diet is huge in my life, lifestyle, um, using oils, just tons of holistic support and focusing on fueling my body from the inside out. So for me, the medicine was really effective. I know some many, many people are not as fortunate. 
Um, I did not go through the cycle of trying many medications. I was very resistant to even try a medicine. So this one worked and it was kind of like almost like the first time I took it, I, I was really behind the medicine. Like at that point I was like, I just want this to do the job. I want it to be the hammer. So like mentally I was there and ready to take it. And I'm not saying like you have to be that way, but I do think like if you choose to whatever it is, whether it's medicine or whether it's diet, get behind it. Um, and so I was behind it and it did, it did the trick and I started to just like, within six weeks, I would say that I felt pretty close to normal and then I didn't have the regressions and that was telling to me that, okay, the medicine, the medicine was working. So weaning off the medicine, um, I had, like I said, taken four months to get to the dosage that I maxed out on. So I have gone down like really slow over the last nine months. Um, I have also incorporated medical medium protocols to really help my body heal from the inside out. You can watch other videos on this channel on that. So I've been doing that, really focusing on um, diet and then using supplements that medical medium recommends from cleanse to heal, diving in deeper with that. Lately, um, as I get to this like last bit of being on the medicine, I've been using CBD more. So there's different kinds of CBD. I'm not a pro on it, so definitely go do your own research, but there's hemp-derived CBD that's non-psychoactive, doesn't have any THC, you don't get high from it, it just has like the calming effect. Um, and so I've been using that to help my body because, you know, you get symptoms just from weaning off the medicine. So it's hard to say like, oh, am I having symptoms of vestibular stuff or is this just weaning off the medicine? So these are things I had to be really conscious of. Um, but I would say like for eight months, it was a bliss. I, I had some pain migraines and I don't know if that's from weaning off the medicine or I just have more healing to do when it comes to migraines. Weirdly, I didn't experience um, pain migraines in like the first few years of my vestibular stuff. It was all vestibular. So I think pain migraine actually might be the thing I'm healing more now at this point, or it could be breakthrough from coming off the medicine. And then this last month, this has been, I'd say the hardest one, the, la the last like bit, like my body's holding on. And that's why I'm still kind of taking it slow and haven't just like taken the leap to come off of it. Um, but I will. Um, and just again, CBD, Kabaiba is a really great essential oil um, that I'll link below my routine that's really great um, for inflammation and for migraines. So I've been using that to support my body. And drinking lots of water and getting out in nature is huge for me. Today I went in the lake and just like stood with the sand underneath my feet and like felt the ground underneath me just really to feel grounded. And that's really, really powerful. So those are just some things I've been doing. Um, I hope you find this helpful. And yeah, it's been, it's been a good experience. This is like my next chapter. Um, and I'm gonna keep on sharing as I get off of it and what I'm feeling and what I'm doing. But I hope this little glimpse is helpful to you and feel free to reach out and ask questions, okay? All right. I also just want to finish with saying that going on a medicine for vestibular migraines, coming off a medicine, any decision like that is a really personal decision and there's a lot of emotion wrapped up in it. Um, I am a huge supporter of holistic support regardless. I'm a huge supporter as diet as a part of healing regardless if you're using medicine or not using medicine. I believe that diet is the foundation of health. So I say and share all this and I often get questions of like, what medicine did you use? Did it like cure you? And I will flat out say no. Like I got to 90% without the medicine. Um, so I know that it's not, it's not the cure. It's kind of, for me, I look at it as a Band-Aid and that can be a really good thing when you're in hell or when you're in the deep darkness of it, if you need that support. But I didn't know how long it was gonna keep on being a really good Band-Aid for me. Um, I didn't know if it was gonna keep on being really effective. So this is just, this is decisions that I had to make for my health, but ultimately like you always have to do what's best for you. So don't take what I say as right or wrong for you. Again, this is me just sharing my experience, okay? All right, guys, I hope that this is helpful. And again, check out the resources I have over on Bliss Out when it comes to holistic, holistic support. If you're looking for dietary support, I'm a holistic nutritionist. I focus on plant-based. Um, that's just my passion. You don't have to be vegan to work with me. Um, so reach out. I have my Bliss Out guide. That's all things plant-powered eating um, to help you thrive in this life. So all these things I create because they just make me happy and I hope they bring happiness to you too. All right, talk to you soon.